Hello everyone. Welcome back to Fraud on the Telly. You can see today that we have a very, very special video for you all. Today we are going to be exploring quite the delicacy, a flavor intensifier, a small granule with so much power it can transform any mundane food to sheer ecstasy. That's right, today we're talking about MSG, baby. MSG. Mono sodium glutamate. What exactly is this stuff? Well, monosodium glutamate is synthesized umami. No, not your mommy, umami. Umami is one of our flavor receptors, like sweet, salty, sour, and then apparently at the end of your hung, right here, there's umami. Now, for a long ass time, I had no idea what this was. I hadn't even heard of it. And then when I did hear of it, I thought it was some kind of like vegetable or something until I went and lived in Japan for over a year. Because let me tell you, the Asians, they got umami everywhere. Probably the most common umami taste that Westerners have had is in like soy sauce. But many people just have no idea still what it is. And because of that, the use of MSG and as well as some other reasons that we'll get to is just not uh, all that much in Western society, especially America. Today, though, we're putting an end to all of that. Today, 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 we're putting this shit on everything, baby. I've got a copious amount of random food and snacks below me, and we're going to see just what's up. Does it taste good? Does it not? We're going to put this on everything, and we're just going to find out, shall we? As always, though, if you enjoyed the video and learned something new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more IRL absolutely ridiculous content. Bread. Let's start with something simple, shall we? Some nice, low-calorie wheat bread it's currently 9 a.m where i live right now i usually intermittent fast until like 2 p.m that's when i eat my first meal but i think for the content we can break this a little early shall we that might have been too much oh i can see it man i don't know if you guys can see this but the crystals are granulating they are granulating let's give it a shot Hmm. Mm. It's so wild, man. There's just like explosions on my tongue. Like right at the end. It's so weird. Wow. That is. Oh my goodness. I think I might have put too much. Wow, that is interesting. Um how to explain. It's like savory, but like almost sour as well. I feel like it's like forcing my lips and my mouth like mm, like this, you know, kind of almost like a sour, like something that you're eating that's sour, but it's not sour. It's like it's super savory. I don't know. It almost kind of reminds me of like miso soup, maybe. I mean, it just tastes like normal wheat bread, but then there's just this ba bam that just happens right after. Pretzels. Salted pretzel sticks, to be specific. Okay, uh, how best to do this, you think? Nope. I don't know if you saw that, but it just kind of bounced off. Uh, let's see if we got any. Nope. Just normal pretzel. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. There we go. We just gotta do the Markiplier method. That's all it is. Can you see that? Can you guys see that sh right there? Boom. Here we go. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, the flavor wasn't as intense as the bread. Maybe it's because I put less. Also, there's a lot of salt on here, if you can't tell. But that is really quite pleasant. I, I gotta say, like, I would do that regularly like that's really nice it's not overpowering right there's just enough and the salt mixed with it adds a very unique kind of flavor i don't really know how to describe it hmm that's good no cap these two things? That's real good. Okay, so we've seen what it can do on plain food and something that already tastes kind of decent. Let's stick with our cracker snacks here. And let's go with this 
multi-grain cracker. These, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, are dog <laughs> This is dog <laughs> It literally tastes like nothing. I can't stand these. Um, so, if anything really needs a flavor kick out of these three things so far, it's gonna be this cracker right here. So let's see if uh, our MSG here can save this, this absolutely abysmal cracker. What a heaping helping. Oh, look at that. They even have little holes for the MSG to get caught in right here. It's almost like it was meant to be. There we go. This is probably going to make a mess. Mmm. Mm mm. Mm mm. It helps a little bit, but nope. Mm mm. Mm mm. It's just like. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's just not good, man. Get that. Get that shit out of here. Ew. Gross. Do not buy those crackers. Those things are garbage. You know, the history of MSG in the States is also pretty interesting. Uh, it actually kind of first made its appearance, or at least, like, people really started eating it, uh, in Chinese food a long time back. Because, like we said, this is a common, uh, additive, umami tape flavor in MSG in Asian cultures. And... It actually got a really bad rap, unfairly. You see, years ago, I think there was this journalist or this food critic that went to this Chinese restaurant, and they wrote a really negative review about how their food gave them, like, headaches, upset stomach, made them feel like trash. And all of this got blamed on our boy MSG. Completely unfairly, by the way. Have you ever seen, like, food with, like, the stamp of, like, no MSG added that's because of the stigma that was unfairly brought about at least from my understanding on to this this product msg because of that chinese restaurants and other asian restaurants across the united states for a long long time got a lot of hate and people would uh unjustly say that they felt sick or had upset stomachs or would sweat or would like get headaches and stuff and they blamed it on this product right here all because of a bad review years ago that had no idea what they're talking about it's pretty wild how uh history and public opinion can work on these things there's even people today that still think that msg like can mess you up i mean there's a reason why nowhere on the front of this label does it say msg it doesn't say it anywhere they don't advertise it at all they do that because there's this negative stigma for no reason that being said, let's see what it tastes like in some coffee, shall we? Hmm. Well, that's some decent coffee. What do you think? Just pop. Pop. Mmm. Um. I don't taste it at all, I think. Yeah, I don't think I taste it at all. Maybe we put more in? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can taste it at all. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Peanut butter. Everybody loves peanut butter, right? Salty, fatty snack. Natural peanut butter. Eat your natural peanut butter, guys. If you ever want to learn something interesting, grab a, any jar of natural peanut butter from the store. Hold it next to a jar of normal peanut butter and compare the ingredients list because it's going to shock you. I feel like this is going to be good. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is like salty and savory kind of already, right? So... I feel like this could be really good. Yo! 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 Hold up. That is... Wow. That is fantastic. It just mixes so well. It's almost like... It just feels like they were meant to go together. Like, the saltiness of the peanut butter with kind of, like, the savory saltiness, but, like, in a different way of the MSG. That was fantastic. Hold up. Hold up. Idea. Idea here. Tiny peanut butter and jelly. Surely, right? Now, this is the bread that we had the MSG on already, so. I don't know. I can kind of taste it. Yeah, I can't really taste it if I'm being honest, guys. I'm genuinely surprised about that. I thought that was going to be wicked. A couple more things. Let's say we, um, maybe switch it up and try something sweet. 
Oreos, baby. Ah, original. Double stuff. No. If you're an Oreo connoisseur like me, then you'd know that the only Oreos to buy are about the OG and the Goldens. All right, let's see how this goes. I feel like this is going to be weird. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that on the camera. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. Oh my god, I can taste it already. Mm. I mean, yeah. Wow. Holy. Hold up. What the f Yo. Guys, this is kind of dank, no lie. This is low key pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It's like sweet savory combo. You know what I mean? It's got that sweet and savory, weird, you know, kind of dancing across my tongue. It makes me not feel as bad about eating double stuff. Cause it's just way too much filling. That's pretty good. Low key. I would recommend that. Like not even, not even joking. Like I would recommend that. What else we got? Oatmeal. What? Maple, brown sugar. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. I can't decide if I like that or not. I feel like that's good. But there's like a weird... Hmm. Let's try it again. I mean, it's not bad. Right? I don't know if I would eat that normally, though. If I'm being honest. It's not bad. Um, I kind of like my maple brown sugar oatmeal, you know, maple and brown sugary. We don't really need salty or savoriness in that, but it's not the worst, you know. Uh, back to sweet we go, shall we? Hershey's special dark chocolate. I can already feel my body being like, fraud, what are you doing? <laughs> we normally have no calories for like several more hours. What is this mix of calories that we are putting in our body right now? Little choco chip. Boop. Get a little healthy amount. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ow. You know, I'd be curious with a lot of these things if it would taste better if it was incorporated into the making process. Like, why, what do I mean by that? Um, with a lot of these things, the MSG just sits on top, right? It doesn't seep inside of it, um, right? Like, imagine eating chocolate, but, like, there's MSG that, like, inside of it, right? Like, you melt it, you put MSG in, and then you reheat, and you recool it, or you just make the chocolate with the MSG in it. Same with, like, I don't know, the bread, right? Like, it's not bad, but when you put it on top of it, and then you put it in your mouth, it's like MSG flavor, and then sh chocolate flavor. They're almost like separate, kind of, because it's like right, it's on the edge, right? Let's try it again. Totally not an excuse for me to eat chocolate right now. <laughs> totally not an excuse for me to just eat chocolate, huh? I mean, it works. It's pretty good, actually. It's kind of like how, like, um, salted caramel is good. Or, like, salted chocolate is good. Like, that works. I would eat that. I mean, I'm eating it right now. Like, I would continue to eat that. Um, no cap. Uh, what we got left here? This is kind of just all the random shit that was in my house. Um, oh, God. This is the one that, um, I was least looking forward to and might be our last one. Nanners, baby. Freaking nanners. How do you guys open your nanners, right? So you're supposed to open them from this side. I don't know if you knew that. This is how monkeys open them from this side. But we always open them from this side. This is how I always open them from this side because it's just way easier. But apparently, if you can open your nanners from this side, how the heck you do it? Um, oh, I guess that's how. It's supposed to be way less stringy if you open it from the bottom. I guess because the way the strings run, right? So it's supposed to be way less stringy on your nanner. If you open it from the bottom. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh man. I don't think this is gonna go well. I feel like banana is not something that needs flavor intensifier, right? <laughs> I feel like 
I feel like this is not gonna go well. Oh well. That is, that is weird. Like, on the bread at the very beginning, that shit like, bah! Like, it just smacks you upside the face with flavor. It's like an explosion. It's like so much, man. So much flavor explosion in my mouth. I don't really know how to feel about that. It wasn't bad. It was just like, a lot. It's really interesting. I don't know what it is, but there's like certain things that we've eaten here. Like, where it's gone, like the peanut butter was fantastic. And the pretzel stick, fantastic. Perfect for MSG. I know for a fact that rice is also perfect with MSG as well, as well as like chicken, like fried chicken or like breaded chicken, fantastic with MSG. That's why Chick-fil-A's chicken is so good. But like this banana and the bread, when I put the MSG on it, it's just like, I don't know, the flavor like triples, right? Like the MSG flavor specifically, not the banana flavor. The banana flavor is still there. The bread flavor is still there. But then it just, like, the bread was crazy, man. That just, like, exploded in my mouth. Let's try the bread again, dude. One more time. One last round with the bread. Let's see if that was a fluke or not. What was up with that, huh? Okay. Uh, we got our healthy, uh, healthy, healthy, healthy portion of MSG. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Well, that time it wasn't nearly as powerful. Maybe because... The bread folded, so it didn't actually, like, make direct contact with my tongue. Does that make sense? Like, it's like if you put, like, a bunch of salt on something, and then you get, like, the salt side down on your tongue. You just only get the salt flavor, right? So I feel like that's how this <laughs> works. Hold up. Okay, before we end the video, we gotta do this, right? We, ha we have to do this, right? It's good! I don't know what it is. I just, it, it, it's such a weird sensation. It's not salty. It's not savory. It's not sweet. It's kind of like a blend of like almost all these things. I guess that's why it's umami. I guess that's why it has its own name, right? So yeah, that's MSG. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use MSG on anything? Do you put that shit on everything? Or do you plan to put that shit on everything? Let me tell you guys this stuff from everything that I know uh, about health and exercise science uh, and nutrition gets a really bad rap. Uh, it's really not that bad for you or bad for you at all, especially in like normal portion size. Maybe what I did today was a little overwhelming. I'm not really sure. I mainly use this in eggs and on rice for the most part. Uh, and I think it's absolutely amazing on rice. Big, 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 big fan. Let me know in the comments down below uh, more foods that I should try with MSG, I guess. And did you enjoy this video? I really plan on making more IRL kind of goofy-esque videos like this, so if that is something that you enjoy, please let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button so I know that you're enjoying it. If you want to help support me, peep the links down in the description below, as well as share this video to a friend, as that really does help me out a lot. Oh yeah, and uh, some keen-eyed viewers may have noticed uh, this in the background. Don't worry, guys. Uh, this is going to be appearing in a video real soon. <laughs> that wraps it up for me, as always, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace. Love. Adu. Bro, I'm about to never eat pretzel sticks the same ever again. I swear.